Hi, Joe. Hi, Jen. How are you? Excellent. Welcome to the third episode of Driving with Jen. Wow. I think we're on to something here. Exactly. Yes, the last week's uh, video turned out pretty good with it, the uh, ad libs. We, every week we're going to, you know, add a little bit uh, more panache to it. Nice right? work, panache. So today we're going to have our very first special guest. We're just arriving to pick this guest up. Um, I think she's going to bring, oh, I blew it. She's going to bring a lot of value, uh, what she's going to talk about. And I am really excited for her to join us. Yes, she really is turned into, an, in a short amount of time. An extraordinary agent. An ex really top-notch right, agent. We are. We're picking her up. We're picking her up. Let's see who it is. Unlock my doors. All right. Here she is. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Everyone, Shannon Della Fortuna. Hi. Hi. She is our very first backseat guest. <laughs> How excited, Shannon? Are you excited? This is so cute. I'm, I'm sure you probably couldn't sleep last did night you, knowing you were going to be on. Did you see our on, video from last week? I did. On this you guys episode. Are horrible. Thank you. So, wh what I wanted to talk to you about today, Shannon, is pretty simple. In a very short period of time, how long have you been in the business? Full time, only about five years. So, I think it's safe to say you have turned into an extraordinary agent in a very. Some agents go their entire career and do not realize the level of success that you have in such a short period of time. Thank you. So what I want to ask you is pretty simple. What is one piece of advice that you would give to a new agent starting out in the business today? Great question. Okay, so it is a very good question. I get asked this actually all the time, okay. um, especially during the pandemic when I feel like people, everybody wanted to get into real estate because it looked so easy and you put us on It does look easy, and, doesn't it? Yeah, the houses would just fly off the market. So people ask me all the time, like, how did you do this? How did you go from being a teacher to um, a realtor pretty much overnight? So it's funny. I remember when I first got my license, I had a high school friend who's in the mortgage business say to me, you're going to be terrible at this. You're never going to be a cutthroat <laughs> salesperson. <laughs> Have and you I, done the I told you so yet? <laughs> yes, I have. I have. But I, I really think it's, I never looked at it like a sales business. I kind of looked at it like a people business. That's an um, interesting perspective. And it was more on like building trust and relationships more so than focusing on how many houses you were going to sell. So to answer your question directly, I do think that for new agents, you have to focus on like one or two things that work for you. You can't do everything. Focus on one or two things that work for you okay. to get your name out there. Focus on those and be consistent. So, for so me, develop your niche kind of thing. Correct. You have for to find you, what for works marketing. For you. Wasn't it marketing? Yes. Yeah, social media marketing was from was definitely for me. I have never done a billboard. I've never door knocked. I've never cold called. That works fantastic for some people. That was not me. So what I focused on was how do I get people to know uh, my name, recognize my face. People have seen me at PTA events, at the school, on the playgrounds. But how do I get them to now want to use me to buy or sell a house? So I really came out of my comfort zone I made a social media account and I started posting and at first I was like nobody really cares where I'm eating lunch nobody cares where I'm you know having a burger right but people do care and it made like a very organic natural connection to post that online people would say oh thanks for my, the recommendation or I love that restaurant and then the business owners appreciated it as well so over time I gained a humongous following on Instagram and Facebook and that kind of just got my name and my face out there. Right. That was number one, which is to get people to know who I am. Right. From there, it was how do I get them to now use me to buy or sell a home and that was more developing a team behind me that I could say, I got your back. So I now have a team of attorneys and mortgage people and home inspectors and electricians and contractors and you know I got your back like they people need to know that I can handle right. whatever hurdle we we come across so that was the second thing and once I got a little bit of experience and people